On today's video, I'm gonna be moving some snow. Uh, we're at the a small medical center in our hometown, and we gotta basically move those two piles. I think there's a pile over there as well, and this big one right here. These are my wife's truck. I'm gonna test that out with this big trailer, and we'll use the uh, tire teleskid. Let's get the snow bucket on. About 30 degrees out this morning, so not too crazy cold. So over the past probably six days, we've gotten quite a bit of snow, probably a foot and a half, if not more. And this parking lot, there's really no parking at all, so we have to move snow out of here all the time. And let me know how you guys like this new GoPro. And yes, I will get a mic very soon. She's on a very big bucket. About a yard and a half. Throughout this video, I'm gonna get some in cab shots and maybe some drone shots and just some regular shots on the ground outside as well. Extremely heavy and icy snow, so it's gonna take a while. Gotta basically break it up because I don't wanna damage this skid steer or the trailer. Dumping fairly easy, pretty impressive. Got the cord, made two cords actually. Goes all the way to the back window of the truck. That way you can stay in the cab. I'm just standing outside right now just to see how well it dumps. Make sure the snow's gonna fall out too. Well, the first load came out fine. Not so much with the second one. Try rocking the truck back and forth. I don't wanna beat up on it too hard. The name of my truck. And it's not coming out. So we can get a skid steer bucket in there. Right, so it's dumping much better now. Uh, yes, we do fluid film it. Uh, we fluid. It's still, you know, nice and slippery and everything. Uh, the problem why it wasn't dumping is because we let all the snow kind of pack in there and just kind of bundled up everything. But this is like the fourth time dumping now, and no issues. Dumps like all the snow when you're only halfway up. One pile done, took about four loads. On to the next one.
this truck, comparing it, uh, you know, to my black 550, which has pulled this trailer numerous times, this truck is not loving life, that's for sure. Um, definitely the one ton package, uh, I would not recommend pulling this size dump trailer at all, especially with the way we're loading this heavy snow. Uh, it's just, it's squatting a lot. You can tell it's not, the brakes aren't loving it. Um, just look, my 550s, you know, just much beefier, better grade truck, you know, compared to this one. I was thinking it would handle it just fine, but definitely overkill for this truck. Definitely better than my Duramax. My Duramax would probably snap in half if I, you know, was hauling this much weight with that trailer. But yeah, I would say if you're gonna get a big dump trailer like this, get a, get a 450, because uh, definitely uh, quite a big difference, really. Sitting. We're down the medical center and dump trailer just died. So Riley's going to get the battery starter or charger and we're going to leave that toolbox the trailer and charge with that. Right now, me and my dad are just moving cell across the road right to the dump center. Of course this thing dies in the last load of the night. So like always guys, thanks a lot for the watch. Uh, any comments, recommendations, questions, obviously leave in the comments down below like always. This is, you know, not a crazy small amount of snow, but definitely not the most snow we've ever seen here. That's why the loader's not here. Uh, when it gets really bad, we drive the loader down from Farmington and do all the stuff down here too with the loader. But uh, it's been pretty manageable just with the tractor and telescope here. So that's it. Like always, thanks for watching, you guys.